Hello and welcome to this tutorial. We're going to be looking at how you can provide liquidity of RAP Minima and USDT to Uniswap. And once you've done that, you can then get your Uniswap position NFT and stake that into the mini farm at minima.finance and receive extra APY. And so we're going to go through all the steps that you need to take to participate in the, the uh, Minima mini farm. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to minima.finance and you'll be greeted with this website here. If you don't have MetaMask, you'll need to download the MetaMask extension and you can do that on Chrome, Firefox, Edge, any browser that you like. Once you've downloaded MetaMask, if you don't have it already, um, you'll need to connect your MetaMask to the mini farm to get started. And all you need to do is click the connect button and MetaMask will pop up and you can connect um, by pressing the connect button. Once you have done that, it's likely that you've never provided liquidity to Uniswap before for Minima and USDT. So it's going to ask you to go to Uniswap because the first step is you need to add liquidity, uh, USDT and wrap Minima as a pair to Uniswap. Once you've done that, you'll receive a receipt token called an LP token. And that token is then going to be used to stake in the mini farm to earn extra APY. So you're gonna be earning fees not only from Uniswap for providing liquidity, but also from the mini farm as well. So now let's go to Uniswap by uh, clicking this button. I already have it open just here. And because this is on the test net right now, it hasn't actually gone live yet. It will be live by the time you're watching this video. Um, it says here, test USDC and rep minimum. But this will be USDT on the main net. And there's gonna be a link to all of the uh, websites that you need in the description of this video as well if you get stuck. So firstly, we need to choose the fee tier for our um, Uniswap position. And for this farm, only 0.3% is going to be a valid option. So make sure that you choose the 0.3% uh, fee tier for your Uniswap pair. So the next thing is if you're an advanced user, you can decide what the minimum price and maximum price your uh, rep minima and USDT is going to be used as liquidity for. But if you're not an advanced user, if you're just a beginner, just click the full range and your assets are going to be used to facilitate trading on the Uniswap exchange, um, no matter what the price of your minima is. Because basically what Uniswap is, is it's a place where you can swap one asset for another asset. And so by providing your liquidity to the Uniswap, you're uh, facilitating the trading of RAP minima and USDT for other users who are interested in buying or selling RAP minima. So you're strengthening the minima project by adding liquidity uh, to Uniswap and then staking your position in the farm. So now that we've cho chosen full range, which means that um, our, we're gonna earn fees no matter what the price of minima is in Uniswap, we now have to decide how much of the assets we would like to provide. And we need to provide USDT and RAP minima as a pair um, and so I'm just going to, in this example, choose a five uh, USDT, or in my case, test USDT, because this is on the uh, test net. And the equivalent amount of wrap minima that needs to be provided is 4.47, because there's a distinct ratio of these assets in the Uniswap pool. And so I need to provide a distinct amount of each asset as a pair. So once we've decided exactly how much we would like to provide liquidity, and remember that the more liquidity you provide, the more fees you will receive on Uniswap and the more fees in wrap minima you'll receive in the farm. The next step is we need to approve Uniswap to um, send these assets into the Uniswap pool to then be used. Because basically we're gonna be running a smart contract to get these assets into Uniswap. And that smart contract as part of the code um, requests that we send our assets from our wallet into Uniswap. And before we can allow that, we have to approve Uniswap to actually run that code. So we have to run two functions here. Firstly, we'll approve our USDT, and I'm just gonna approve all of my USDT, which is five in this instance. So right now I don't have enough Ethereum to make this transaction. So I'm just gonna send over some test Ethereum uh, to my wallet using my other account, just so that I have enough Ethereum to facilitate these transactions. And so all of these transactions are gonna cost some Ethereum gas. So as you can see here, you're going to need some Ethereum to facilitate all of these transactions. So I'm just gonna send over five test Ethereum over to my 
secondary account so that I can then uh, run all of these um, transactions on the Ethereum blockchain that cost a small amount of gas. And each one of these transactions is going to take anywhere between five seconds and a minute, depending on how much gas you provide um, to Ethereum as you run these transactions. But MetaMask handles all of those calculations, so you don't have to worry about those. So now I have five um, test Ethereum, I should be able to approve um, USDT to be spent by Ethereum, sorry, by Uniswap. And yes, okay, I'll confirm that. And I'm also going to need to let Uniswap um, use my wrap minima as well. Okay, so now we just have to wait probably about a minute or two, and both of those transactions should go through together. Okay, so the first one has gone through. My, my uh, test USDC has been approved, and that'll be USDT in your instance. And now we're just waiting for the wrap minima. Okay, and that has also gone through. So now we've approved these assets to be um, moved into Uniswap. We can click the preview button. It gives us uh, some information on the position we're making in Uniswap. And I can click the add button here, <clears throat> and then we can actually uh, run the transaction which provides liquidity to Uniswap. Okay, and this is going to take probably about the same time, like anywhere between you know five, 10 seconds, up to a couple of minutes, depending on uh, congestion levels on Ethereum at any given moment. And what's going on here is we're providing five USDT, uh, 4.47 minima, and we're gonna receive a Uniswap V3 position which is an NFT, which represents these assets in Uniswap. So it's kind of like a receipt when you purchase something um, in a shop or something like that. This receipt token proves that we've provided liquidity and gives us ownership of those underlying assets in the pool. And that NFT that we now have in our wallet is what we're going to use in the mini farm to provide liquidity. So now when I refresh the page, it should show um, that I have an NFT um, position in Uniswap ready to be uh, added as liquidity into the mini farm to start earning some fees. Now, this might take a couple of minutes because um, this system needs to figure out that I've um, received um, a Uniswap V3 position and then um, update a few different things and figure out who has what positions. So you might have to come back uh, in just a couple of minutes to um, just make sure that you have um, everything updated and the system has figured out that you actually do have this position. And okay, now we can see that everything has updated. So just um, once you've made the position, maybe go away and get a coffee and then come back and it should show you this screen when you go back to the mini farm and refresh the page. So we can see here that um, this particular um, Uniswap position has different incentive periods. Uh, which are basically different periods of reward where you can add your NFT position into this farm and receive rewards. And so basically all you have to do now is you, we have this position here. Um, and this is a Uniswap uh, position that we've just made. And if you had more positions for Wrap Minima and USDT, you would see a whole bunch of different uh, token IDs. And then when you stake them, it'll show you um, the rewards that you're accumulating as well. And also the total rewards you've accumulated from all your positions. Okay, so how do you now stake this position into the farm and start earning rewards? All you need to do is make sure you're connected to the mini farm still, click the stake button, and there's gonna be three transactions that we make. The first one is an approval transaction, which essentially approves the mini farm contract to move your Uniswap position from your wallet into the farm. And so you're now approving that the next time you run this contract, the contract has permission to take your NFT and put it into the farm. So this is gonna take just a few seconds. And then we have two more steps after that, and that will be everything that we need to do. Just remember as well that you will need Ethereum gas for each one of these transactions. And one of these transactions will typically cost um, a couple of dollars um, per step. So overall, there, um, for staking, once you have the position, there's three steps. And so that's gonna cost you a few dollars in Ethereum gas. And then also creating the position in Uniswap is gonna cost you some gas as well. Now, if any of these transactions are taking a really long time, 
You can also go into MetaMask and speed up your transaction, but um, just make sure um, to realize that if you do speed up the transaction, it is gonna cost a little bit more Ethereum gas. Okay, so first step is finished. The second step now is to transfer this position into the mini farm staking contract. So we've approved the contract to take our assets. The contract is now going to take our assets and put on our position, I should say, our Uniswap position, um, and it's gonna put it into the farm ready to stake. Now we're not staking quite yet. We then have to actually stake our asset as well in the system, which will be the final step because these incentive periods um, to earn rewards uh, can end and a new one can start. And so sometimes you have to unstake and restake into the new incentive program. But at minimum, we're going to make a really long incentive program so that um, you don't have to keep staking and unstaking, which costs money. Cool, so that's the second step. That's all completed. So now our asset is inside the farm, but it's not actually earning anything. So the third step is we need to confirm this stake. So you need to um, click the stake button one last time. And now we're actually staking our asset in the incentive program. And this is where we're gonna start earning rewards. So this is the final step. And we're now staking our asset in the incentive program. And every single block, we're going to be earning rewards. And at the end of the incentive program or halfway through the incentive program, you can withdraw these rewards into your wallet. And we can see here that that staking has now been confirmed. So that is everything that we need to do. And now all we need to do is wait and we're going to be earning rat minima for providing this Uniswap position into the mini farm. So that's everything for this video. We've um, gone through the entire process of creating a Uniswap v3 position for rat minima and USDT and then approving the mini farm to use this NFT um, in the staking platform, moving the NFT into the staking platform and then staking the NFT to earn extra rat minima. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, we're always available on the minima discord. And I hope you enjoy this new incentive program and uh, hopefully that you will be able to participate and I'll see you in the next video.